what qualities will they have? <clears throat> okay, we have gratitude rampage. List 10 things you're thankful for. Okay, I feel like this person is very thankful. This person is very giving. Um, I feel like they're more giving than receiving. They want to thank you for the most ridiculous things. It's funny. I feel like this person is very playful. I feel like this person is thanking you all the time. It's funny. Okay, we have asked for help. It doesn't make you weak. Yeah, I feel like this person... <clears throat> this person is quick to help you. They're quick to let you know that they're there to fulfill your needs. I feel like it's even the small things, like they are willing to help you with laundry. They're willing to help you with dishes, with housekeeping, with just minute things. But I feel like they're very helpful. They go out of their way to do things for you to make your life easier. Okay. We have surrender to the sweetness, Venus energy, pleasure, joy, make love to life. Yeah, I'm, I'm really getting that this person is a sweet soul. And like I said, they're very giving, they're willing to help. But I feel like they are kind of going out of their way to make sure you have a great day, to make sure that they focus on you. Um, I feel like they're not only making love to your body, but they're like making love to your mind, to your soul, to your inner being. This person loves you wholeheartedly. And I, the, the funniest thing is I feel like sometimes this aggravates you. I'm really getting that this person does things just to get a rise out of you so that they can make up, so that they can touch you, so that they can kiss you. Um, I, I feel like they're very touchy-feely. This person is... They're very grounded. I feel like this person is very grounded. They may enjoy being in nature a lot. They may go on hikes. They may do a lot of camping. Um, they may fish or hunt or some kind of activity that brings them into nature. I feel like this person likes to spend a lot of time in nature. Okay, this person may be very grounded as well. They may be um, also focusing on manifestation, on spirituality. I feel like this person really listens to their gut feelings. They follow their intuition. They listen to inner guidance. This may be someone who's very spiritual, who's very grounded, who is very um, well balanced. They may meditate. They may read spiritual books. Yeah, this is definitely someone who has like a spiritual side, a spiritual nature to them. Maybe that's why they like to be in nature so much. They feel grounded. They feel like they're connecting with their spirit. Okay, you have friendship and union. So this is someone who not only wants to be your lover, but they also want to be your best friend. They want to be there for you in your times of need. They want to hold you up when you're feeling low. This person is like a kinship to you. 
this friendship is like no other that you felt. I feel like you can say anything to this person and they're not going to judge you. Yeah, listen deeply. This person wants to know your inner feelings. They want to know how you're feeling um, about certain situations, about just life in general. They want to know how your day is going, how you know, you're feeling at the moment. Um, they're ready to listen and support you. This person is very supportive, very strong and capable. But yeah, I feel like you're definitely going through some kind of friendship. It may even be that you're friends before your lovers, but I feel like this is someone who is very close to you very close to your heart who wants to know and heal every inch of your heart someone who wants to know your inner being yeah okay inner strength uh it says move back to wholeness recognize that you have the power so this is someone who doesn't want to take your power away from you they want to hold you up they want to see you flow um they want to give you the freedom to make whatever decisions you need to make as long as they're included they're happy but they're willing to let you fly high they're willing to give you the freedom that you need to soar. I feel like you're free to, you know, make decisions. Um, I feel like you're very strong and capable. And this person, they just want to be a part of it. They, they're not holding you back from anything that you want out of life they feel like your future is your source but they just want to be at your side when you gain some kind of success when you have these achieve achievements or goals uh, they want to be at your side to root you on they but they want to give you the freedom to pursue whatever it is you want to pursue in life I feel like this person will be very supportive. Okay, karmic relationship. Yeah, I, I feel like this person feels like you, you were brought together for a reason. This first person feels like you are kind of a reward for everything that they've been through in the past. This person may have had a lot of heartbreak. This person may have had a lot of um relationships that didn't work out and it not to say it was the other person the reason why the relationships didn't work out it could be that this person had a lot to do with it as well but i feel like this person has grown in a way that they have learned their lessons in love and now they feel like they're balanced like this is a karmic relationship like they like you were manifested by them this is their karma coming back to them they definitely feel like you're a reward to them really interesting okay let's see what else we have twin flames okay your passion ignites yeah so this is someone who feels definitely like you are their soulmate. You are their twin flame. You kind of mirror their personality. And to be totally honest, you don't even have to mirror their personality. You could be a total opposite. But I feel like this person sees you as exactly what they want out of life. This may be something that's very, very long term. Okay, we have passion and magnetic and seductive quality surrounds you at the present. Enjoy it. So I definitely feel like this connection is very passionate. I, I see that you guys 
can't really keep your hands off of each other. You're exploring each other's bodies. You're exploring each other's hearts, your minds, your emotions. Um, you're diving deep into just the feeling of love and happiness. I feel like this is a very joyful situation. And I feel like this person is very playful. This person tries to... I feel like this person tries to um, start fights, start arguments, just so you can make up. Just so they can see that look on your face. They may tell you, you're so beautiful when you're angry, or you're so, you're so handsome when you're angry. Give me that look, you know? Um, I, I feel like this person is very playful. I feel like they really try to get a rise out of you. Okay, what other qualities does this person have? Okay, we have the Page of Wands. So, yeah, I definitely feel like this person is learning. This person... Like I said, I feel like they've been through a lot of heartbreak. They may have been through relationships that didn't work out in the past. And now they're learning about what worked and what didn't. They're learning new passions. They may be very experimental, should I say, um, with their lovemaking. But yeah, I definitely feel like this person, this person is definitely open to new passion. And I feel like they're very creative. Okay, we have the Justice card. Definitely. And see, that's what I was feeling with this karmic relationship. I feel like this person feels like you're a reward for their efforts. They feel like they finally come to this place in their life where all is well where everything finally worked out you're the balance that they've been looking for in a relationship they feel like you're definitely the one you're definitely the one to balance them out you're definitely the one who will bring them through any obstacle they feel like you're very supportive like they finally won the battle. They won the lottery with you. That's how they're feeling. Okay, and when will the situation happen? Okay, we have the Four of Cups. The Four of Cups. You know what? I feel like... I feel like it's going to take time for this to happen, but I feel like when this person asks you to marry them, it's going to be very unexpected. It's going to be by surprise. You're not going to think that this person is ready to take that leap yet. I feel like you're caught by surprise. You didn't think that this was a possibility at this time. So it may be very soon. Um, or it may take some time, but I feel like whenever this is, it's going to take you by total surprise. They may come to you and they may give you a gift and you open the gift and it's a ring. It's a vow that I want to be with you forever. Will you marry me? Will you be my soulmate? Will you be my better half? <laughs> but I feel like it's going to totally take you by surprise. You're not expecting it. Okay. Yeah, you have the Knight of Wands. So, yeah, I definitely feel like it's going to be very unexpected. It may happen sooner than later um, because the Knight of Wands is quick energy. This is something that may happen within the next two to three months, uh, three to four months. So yeah, I definitely feel like 
this is going to happen sooner than later um, because that Knight of Wands energy, I feel like that's going to happen very quickly. Okay, what does this person feel about this connection? What does this person feel about this connection? Okay, we have the Page of Pentacles. So yeah, this is a brand new experience for this person. This person, you may be their first marriage. You may be something that they are starting off with. Um, but I feel like they want to hold on to this for the long term. Definitely. And I feel like they want to learn as they go in this situation. I feel like when they look at you, they see something that can grow and can prosper. They feel like every day with you is good news. They want to discover every moment. Yeah, I really feel like this person thinks about you a lot. They think about you a lot. Okay, and we have the Ten of Cups. So I definitely feel like this is going to be a long-term... A long-term marriage, a long-term union. This is going to be filled with a lot of hopes and dreams. A lot of dreams coming true. You're building a family with this person. You're building a you're building your reality. I feel like your reality is very unique to you and this person. I feel like no one else has what you have. Or that's at least how you and this person feels about this union. No one else can measure to the love you have for each other. Very beautiful energy. Very beautiful energy. I definitely feel like this person that you will marry, uh, you may have ups and downs or obstacles that you go through. But I really feel like these things that you'll go through um, won't have any bearing on the love that you have. They, they're willing to endure mountains to be with you. They're willing to walk through the fire for you. They're willing to please you by no bounds. Yeah, the Knight of Pentacles. So they're they're investing. They're willing to invest all of their time, attention, all of their abilities onto the situation and building a family and building a legacy and building something beautiful with you. They want to grow old with you and have children and grandchildren. They want to have celebrations. They may pop the question, um, will you marry me as some kind of function, some kind of get together, some kind of thing that you'll be going through where you're in a social setting. If you haven't met this person yet, you will. Uh, like I said, this may be someone who is a friend before they're a lover. But I feel like this person is someone very attractive, very social. But I also feel like they're very grounded. This may be a water sign because I feel like they feel very deep. They may be a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Um, 
but they being so close to nature they may also be a earth sign i feel like they're very grounded they're very reliable yeah yeah you have the chariot so definitely Your outcome with this person, I feel like this person is taking you to new levels. They're taking you to new depths. Uh, this may be new depths in love. This may be new depths in um, your literal destination. I feel like they're going on journeys with you. You may be seeing the world together. Buying a home together. When I see this card, I see this moving into a beautiful direction. Beautiful and kind of mysterious. This person may like to give you surprises. They may like to surprise you regularly with maybe flowers or gifts. But I feel like this person loves to surprise you. They love to show you new things. Go on new journeys. And I feel like this person is very assertive. They... They kind of know where they're going and follow that destination. I'm really getting Emperor vibes from this person. They may be an Aries, but I really feel like this person is very powerful, very loving, very caring, very... very knowing of how they feel. And I feel like this person only shares their feelings with a, a very few. Uh, otherwise, they kind of show less emotion to certain people. Um, and I feel like they've, it, it may have taken you a while to open this person up, but I feel like once you open them, it's like Pandora's box. It's like, <laughs> There's no shutting it now. I feel like this person is open to you. They're um, where otherwise they're pretty closed off. I feel like this is a very private person. They kind of keep their personal life to themselves. They don't really talk about certain things to people. Um, and I feel like maybe when you first meet this person, you look at them as like a mystery. Like you really want to get to know them. Like, um, like it's mysteries and secrets being unfolded. But be patient. Be patient with this person. If they're not opening up right away, they're looking for a opportune moment when they purely trust you in order to open up their feelings and their emotions but i feel like this person feels very deeply definitely they feel very deeply Okay, uh, deck number one, this is your reading. This is who you will marry. This is the person. If this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. And um, make sure to take a look at your other placements if you like. Uh, but this is the person who, this is the characteristics that they have. This is their personality. Um, if this doesn't resonate, take a look at one of the other decks for clarity. And of course, you can take a look at uh, any of the other decks as well to get more information. If this um, 
doesn't really hit you as resonating right away. But, yeah, have patience. Have patience, deck number one. This, if this isn't here now, this is coming. Okay, thank you. Many blessings to you. Love and light.